want is for her to be happy. What do you expect me to do, Mom? Quit my morning jogging? Is that what you're saying? You know that's not possible. Son, you can at least be considerate. I am considerate, Mom. What do you expect me to do? Take permission before I go for my morning workout? Is that what you're telling me? Or maybe take her along. Just anything to make her feel relaxed a bit. And you think I haven't tried? Now tell me, what would I do to a woman who thinks that exercise reduces a woman's chances of conception? Does she think so? Mom, she does not want to hear the word exercise. In fact, she told me that exercise will make her look muscular. Look, that's not funny. Look, I have tried to educate this woman, but she just wouldn't learn. She does not want to hear exercise. Now tell me, who in this age and time doesn't know about exercise or doesn't know about the benefits of exercise? Maybe it's not something she grew up with. Exactly. Well, that's her business, but she shouldn't drag me down with her. Well, son, all I am saying is just for us to carry her along in everything we do here. This is a lady who like gave up everything, her job, her time and all that to, to stay with you. The least you can do is make her happy. Mom, I am doing my best. Trust me, you have no idea. I am doing my best. But she does not want to hear anything called exercise. Do you know the one that annoys me more? Her nonchalant attitude towards the word exercise. It, it beats my imagination. It's beginning to give me great concern. Darling. Good morning. Good morning. I I woke up, I didn't see you, I checked the bathroom, you were not there. You got me worried. Well, now you see me. What are you doing here? Are you are you alright? Yes, I am alright, but I don't want to be left behind today. And what is the meaning of that? Meaning that I will be jogging with you from today onwards. Why? I thought you said it is good for my body. And when I told you, what did you say? You disagreed with me. I remember. But I want to see that for myself. Today. Are you sure you are ready for this? Okay. Before jogging, I normally start up my body with some exercise. So, um, are you ready? What's that? I'll show you. Let's beat your legs. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> your, your right hand goes to your left leg. Down. Whoa. This way. Okay. This way. This is quite hard. This way. How long do I have to do this? <clears throat> Ready, start, stop, go. Okay, let's go. Okay, slow down.
Someone is going to join us at that junction. Who is that? My jogging partner. Oh. You didn't tell me you have a jogging partner. Well, uh, let's just say I met her a while ago. Oh. Is that she? Yep. Are you okay? Are you okay? Come on, you're breathing fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, 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 hold. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Just breathe, breathe. Can you make it? Take me back to the pants. Okay. I can't breathe. Okay, sorry. Let's go back. Come on, you can. You can breathe. Alright, come on. Let's go back. You can make it. You can make it. Come on. Just drink water at intervals, you'll be alright, okay? Nothing will happen to you. It's just because it's been a while you did this, alright? You'll be fine. I'll see you when I come back. Home. Are, you, are you leaving? Are you leaving? Of, of course I am leaving. I'm going back to work out. No, no, no. At least sit. Sit and take care of me, please. Sit, take care of you and miss my morning workout? That's not possible. Look, there is nothing wrong with you, okay? You'll be fine. I'll instruct the maid on duty, she will come take care of you, okay? Okay? Oh, no. I like you a lot. And I want you to be happy with my brother. That is why I am having this conversation with you. So please answer my question well generally we are cool the only problem I have with him is his bluntness oftentimes his words are so sharp that they pierce through the labyrinths of my heart like a sword but you know that is only how you feel it is not real well, I figured that out already. That is why I'm saying that I don't like his bluntness. My brother says things the way they are. True. He has no time to sugarcoat his words. Yes. Everybody that is close to him knows that about him. And as a woman, you think that is right? Well, I... I think uh, maybe it's because of his upbringing. You know, in Western countries, people are honest to a fault. They don't mean words. Princess. Honesty has got nothing to do with this. It is about being diplomatic. Diplomacy is very important. At least he should care about how I feel too. If he is not, then I'm sure he must have told you off by now. I mean, you won't be here this time. You did not just say that. Don't get me wrong, please. All I'm saying is that my brother loves you. Hence, you are here. But I've come to understand that uh, you don't know him. And in order to be happy with him, you need to learn how his mind works. He abhors control. He hates it when someone tries to control his life in any way at all. Even my father, the king, knows that about him. And you are not in any way suggesting that I am doing that, are you? Monica, I know you got mom to try to stop him from jogging. Please, don't do that again. That alone can make him hate you. 
my brother the prince is a very simple guy very easy to please and i can enlighten you more and more on that oh really please do thank you <clears throat> You don't need to do much in order to please him. Very little things, I mean insignificant things, can make him hate or love someone. It could be the way you walk, the way you speak, the way you pick up and drop your cutlery, your interest in certain activities. <laughs> oh. You are not serious, are you? Those are a few of the simple things. All I'm saying is that he hates complications as far as relationship is concerned. He told me that. And most importantly, let him be himself. If you cannot support him, then don't try to stop him. You will be fine if you keep it this simple. Trust me. It's a tough one, but thank you very much. Thank you for your concern. I am grateful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope it helps. <laughs> so tell me, how are your friends? When are they visiting again? Next week. Yes. My flight is on Tuesday. That's pretty soon. If I knew I was going to meet someone like you, I would have taken at least two months leave. You're an amazing person. And to tell you the truth, you were the best thing that happened to me since I got back. Why? Like I said, you're an amazing person. You're smart, intelligent, have a beautiful smile. And most importantly, you do not joke with your fitness. Just that. You know, I thought a man of your caliber would be looking out for more qualities in a woman. I don't even have a university degree. Well, I, I am not that kind of man. I'm a simple person. And you are also a simple person. I guess that's why we're connected so easily. Thank you. I like that. It makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking. What if I relocate to Nigeria to establish something here? Why? I live abroad. I am not going to stay there forever. So I eventually would come back home. Honestly speaking, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Our government here in Nigeria has not provided a conducive environment for medical practitioners to thrive. Mm. I mean, our medical doctors here in Nigeria are even looking for ways to go to more advanced countries where they will thrive better. Mm. I'm sure you know that. Well, I don't. If I do, I wouldn't be asking. A man like you who has done so much for himself does not need to come back here, at least not permanently. I mean, it's like taking a thousand steps backwards. That's if you ask me. I thought we have discussed this before. I know, but you still don't get the point. Okay, I'm listening. Let us hear your point. Okay. Have you thought about how you would dominate the medical field once you are based here? What is here to dominate? For goodness sake, with the kind of status you've attained, you will be a king in the medical field once you are here. I am already a king in the medical field. I... In Texas. I am doing well for myself. And I know that. But you'll be more appreciated here. You'll be more valued here. Think about it. Value? Yes. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> Relocating to this country 
will not add value to my career. Rather, it will kill it. Says who? Look, darling, I know these things more than you do. The standard of medical practice here does not suit my kind of person. The status that I've attained. Maybe this is how best I can make you understand it. You still don't get what I am saying. I am not asking you to work for the government. What I'm saying is that you should set up your own private clinic. And I will. But as a humanitarian, I have discussed this with my father. As soon as he assembles a great team of professional doctors, I'll come down and I'll set up a private clinic. So what you're saying is that you have no plans whatsoever to relocate here? Absolutely. You are not a university graduate, but you amaze me with your knowledge of virtually everything. Well, I just think you praise me too much. People who know me too well will tell you that I do not. I say things the way they are. I don't exaggerate. I do not flatter. You are not a medical practitioner. You live here in this small town, but your understanding about everything in the medical field beats my imagination. How is that? Well, maybe because I read a lot. Look, I'm sure a lot of people out there will know these things. <laughs> it will shock you to find out that those people know nothing. I am not retiring home. Oh, thank God. Please don't. I mean, not now, at least. Yes, I will not. Will you... Or will you consider visiting me in the U.S.? Visiting you in the U.S.? Yes. Of course! Yes! Why not? I mean... That will make me very happy. That will make me happy too. As soon as I get back to Texas, I will start arranging for it. And one more thing. I think you need to go back to school. A lady as intelligent as you are should attain the highest level of education. Bill on me if you so desire. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, thank you. You, you just got sent. I had always wanted to go back to school, so it means a lot to me. Thank you. School? You will go and many more that will come your way. Thank you. Thank you. the greatest enemy of man. Only yesterday we were getting ready to welcome you home. And now we are already talking about your departure. Such is life, father. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> All the same, I hope that you are happy that you're going back to work. Maybe. Why maybe? You should be happy that you're going back. You don't give me the impression that you're missing us already. <laughs> but I will. I will miss you. <sighs> it's all right. It's all right. Son? Yes, father. Is there anything on your mind? I... 
I will be picking a wife when next I come home. That is a good plan. But have you taken time to find out if she is what you truly want for a wife? Yes, Father. I know I might be quite hasty with my decisions and all that, but I am convinced deep down my heart that she is the one for me, and sincerely, Father, I would not want to lose her. If you say so, that is entirely your decision to make. And I know that your mother is going to be very happy. Or have you told her already? No. I will tell her when I get back to Texas. Why is that? I don't want to argue. I know she would question my decisions and I don't want that. So I would rather do that over the phone. Why would you want to argue with your mother over the woman that she found for you? It is not her, Monica. What? It is not? Yes, it is not. So, who is the woman? How did you know I'm back to work? I know everything I want to know. <laughs> really? Yes. That's how I got to know that your man, the prince of your town, flew back to Texas on Friday. And today being Monday, you're back to work. I hope you got the welcome back package from me. What's welcome back package? Ah, yes. The very one that was delivered this morning. I know you have a lot to take care of. Haven't been away for such a long time. So later, okay? Okay. <sighs> Namaka, so you've succeeded in stopping me from seeing the prince until he left. What would I have done? you should have allowed me to jog with you people so that you can faint on the road gojo you're not a good friend okay 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 sorry look the prince will come back soon he will definitely come back before the year runs out did he say that well indirectly he did okay but guess what you know i'm not good at guessing all right well the prince has promised to invite me to Texas to come visit him. <laughs> you need to see your face right now. Oh my God. You look so surprised. But anyway, it's the truth. You, he promised to invite me. You, the prince, promised to invite you to Texas. Exactly. Yes. Are you serious? Amaka. There is something you're not telling me. What actually transpired between you and the prince while he was here? But do you know everything that happened? Yes, I know that both of you jogged together. But there's something else I need to know. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Amaka, why are you doing this to me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> what is your problem, Jessica? My problem is that both of you got involved and you never mentioned it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. 
there is this glow <laughs> on your face. This glow on your face I, that was not there before. I, wait. I noticed it. I just chose to be quiet. <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. it's wait. a glow of a royal touch. Wait, you, you're being serious right now. Uh-uh. Look, I seriously don't know what you're talking about. All I said is that the prince has promised to invite me to Texas to visit him. Now, mm. if you have any other insinuation in your head, that's your problem. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. Hey. Come, let me ask you. How did he do it? Get out! You... You are naughty! Look, let's just say you perceive me to be loose, which I am definitely not. Do you see the prince the same way? Mm-hmm. Not really, but... I just want to know why he should invite you to Texas to see him. Why? Jessica, not every woman will get a man's attention with sex. Well, some of us have a lot more to offer. That's if you know what I am talking about. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Vera, honestly, as I'm speaking to you, I'm still in shock. You need to calm down. I can't calm down. How did he know? Uh, moreover, how did he even know I was resuming work today? You must have mentioned it when you told him about the seminar. Come on, Vera. I only told him I'll be off for the seminar for two weeks. I'm very sure of what I said to him. He even sent me a cake, calling me his queen. The cake is placed right in front of me. Are you gonna eat it? Even if I haven't eaten a cake all my life. Come on. Anyway, I just think you should not worry about this. You wanted to tell him about it anyway. Now he knows. End of the matter. Yes, I wanted him to know, but not this way. Honestly, I am worried. This is creepy. Um, can I call you back? Someone is at the door. <sighs> it's okay. We'll talk later. Owa obodetiti. Onye ze his royal majesty of obodetiti. You got it. You are welcome once again. I greet you my king. So how is the family and everyone? Good. We are good and uh, it is well. Thank you for asking my king. I I have no doubt. <laughs> the news of your exploit is everywhere. Although your light is not shining on your friends as it should be, yet I am still hopeful. <laughs> your Majesty, I don't know why you're complaining. Uh, yes. Are you not the light itself? Oh. <laughs> it is not possible for the moon to shine on another moon. Oh, you, you, are, correct. you are correct. So how is the family generally? The family generally is doing great, Your Majesty. Oh, God. It is well. Um, honestly, I never knew that uh, your daughter was home recently. Unlike her, she will come to greet us. Or has she gone back already? Which of my daughters are we talking about here? I am talking about the one that has got the attention of the prince. One of my daughters has caught the attention of the prince? Oh, yes. I am not aware of that. Really? How? Listen. The prince mentioned it to me before he traveled back to the United States. He said a whole lot of good things about her. And from every indication, I'm beginning to think that he is wanting to make her his wife. Yes. Your Majesty, I am aware that my wife has come back to put it in the last two weeks in connection with the farm okay. we are setting up. Okay. Yeah, but I am not aware that any of my daughters came back with her. Of course, yes. See, the prince even mentioned her name. He mentioned the name of the family too. Really? In fact, that is why I have invited you here, so that we can talk. Okay. What's the name of this daughter of mine? Hey. Hey! 
This brain is weak. Let me not send it to the grave by, by thinking too much. Let me give my son a quick call for a reminder. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Uh, hello? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know that this is not a good time for you to talk. Just a quick question. Uh, yes. Uh, hey, uh, my son, what is, what is the name of the lady you, you, you told me about? No, no, the one from Ugu's family. The one you want to get married to. What is her name? Amaka? Amaka Ugu? Oh, okay, okay. She is a sports ambassador? Oh. Oh, that is a good one. Okay, I will talk to you later. Mm. Have a wonderful day ahead. All right, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> uh, you heard him. Yes, he said her name is Amaka. I heard him. All right. Yeah, uh, Amaka actually is not my daughter. What? She's not your daughter? Uh, no, no, but she is daughter to... My late brother, my late twin brother. Oh, that's his daughter. Talk of the devil. Oh, that is Udoye, right? Yeah, Udoye. Udoye, my brother. Ah, I always forget about him. It's okay. Please forgive me. No, no problem. No problem. So he has a daughter this grown already. She is. She oh. is very grown, my king, and I must have to attest to the fact. That indeed she is a nice woman. Oh, really? I am not surprised that the prince is interested in her. Oh, he is. <laughs> he told me this in confidence. Mm -hmm. And I honestly was thinking that she's your daughter. And as a friend, I said, let us talk about it ahead of time. Well, your Majesty, you did well. <laughs> because uh, let us even argue it naturally. Okay. According to our tradition here. She is indeed my daughter. Of course, she is. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> so, so, um, where exactly is Amaka right now? What is she doing for a living? Though my son told me that she's a sports ambassador. And what is the meaning of sports ambassador? I always knew she's a lucky woman. I, I'm hoping this works for her. Seriously. Honestly. I didn't see this coming. I mean, the prince and the princess once visited them. I told you, right? Yes, I remember you mentioned that to me casually. I didn't give it any thought. According to Amaka, she said he met her jogging one morning, got her phone number, went to visit them. And she also mentioned that uh, since then, they've been doing the morning jogging together. But I didn't see it coming. That's brilliant. And I must confess to you that I am pleased at least surprised. Me too. <laughs> but I don't know why Amaka has not mentioned that to me yet. Amaka has not mentioned it to you because it is not official yet. Even the king himself thought the woman in question is one of my daughters. And that's why he called me for the meeting. So, honey, what is the plan now? No plans yet. We have to wait for the prince to come back. At least to make his intentions known because he has not said anything. He only confided in his father that he has seen a particular woman from Ubu's family that he wants to make his wife. And do you think it would be wise telling Amaka about this? I don't know, but... Um... If you think telling Amaka is, is good, uh, then it is fine by me. Yes, I think it's good letting her know. Because I don't think she's aware. Well, Matilda, I trust your judgment absolutely. If you believe telling Amaka is good, you go ahead and do it. Meanwhile, how is the work in the farm? How is it going? Oh, very well. But there have been some unexpected delays. But I am sure in a couple of weeks, the work will be done. Good. And we surely make our time to finally populate it to go and see what they are doing there. In the meantime, I want you to get me something to eat. I I want to eat as soon as I've changed the other clothes. No problem. Please. <sighs> yes. 
conversation over and over again. But I am only bringing it up now because Uncle is around. Amaka, I will not do it. Even if it's going to better your own life. I will not beg anyone for money. Mama, you talk as if these people are outsiders. Eh? Uncle Owa is my uncle. Your late husband's blood brother. What is wrong in asking him for money? Auntie is even very concerned about this. And how did you know about that? Mama, she told me. She told me that you have refused to beg her husband for some money to set up a provision business for yourself. Really? Yes. Why would she make me a subject of a cheap gossip? Mama, no one is making you the subject of a cheap gossip. She only told me these things because she's concerned. She's concerned about you. She's concerned about us. Indeed, she cares about us. Yes. God bless her for that. Amen. But let me ask you one question. She feels that I need help to the extent that it bothers her, right? Mm -hmm. So what stops her from offering to help? If the pity or whatever she feels for me is real, why wait for me to come bow down before her husband or her own feet asking for help? What is it? Has your mouth been tied now? Look, Mama, I don't know. Look, maybe she's scared of you. Yes. Maybe she's scared that if she offers to help, you reject it and embarrass her. Maybe that's why. Forget that. Listen, let me tell you. People who genuinely care about you will always make a move to help. And not wait for you to come lick their feet asking for help. That has been my problem with Matilda. She always wants everyone to come worship at her feet. Over my dead body. I, Bridget, will never do that. Let her continue waiting for me. Rubbish. Do you, do you know what, Mama? I'm done. I am never having this conversation with you again. Just suit yourself. And it will do you good if you don't talk about it again. Yes. Okay. Well, the prince called me. To say that he arrived safely. You told me. Mama, well, that's old just now. I mean, he called me this afternoon. Really? Yes. What did he say? Is he processing your papers already? Mama. Calm down. I don't even have an international passport yet. But he said he was going to send me money to start processing my passport. Wow! And then when it's ready, he will take it up from there. Oh, God! <laughs> hmm. God. May this dream come true for my daughter. Amen. You know, sometimes, Mama, it looks like this is a dream. I know. I can't believe that. Me, Amaka, your Amaka, now has something in common with Prince Okechuku. Hey! <laughs> Sometimes I just want to pinch myself and make sure it's reality. <laughs> I know. Is he out of his mind? What kind of a silly joke is this? This is a joke, right? It is not. He talks about it every time we speak. That will not be the case if it were merely a joke. And to think, he never mentioned it to me while he was here. And even when he traveled back. He knew you wouldn't take the news well. It is surprising that you're taking it this well. Why not? My duty is to support my children in whatever they do. Are we not forgetting something here? Like what? Her son cannot be with another woman other than Monica. You and I know that. We must stop him. Did he just tease? How? 
It's obvious you talked him into this. Because I know you never liked Monica. Don't be ridiculous. Yes, I was not comfortable with the fact that she was living with us in the palace while the prince was here. But to talk the prince into liking another woman, how is that possible? See, Monica was your choice for him. And I knew that he will eventually make his own choice. That is exactly what he has done. So you better deal with it. No. No. We will stop him. We would let that happen. You and I know that he cannot go for another woman. We have to stop him. We have to make sure this does not happen. I am afraid you are alone on that. See, my duty is to make sure that I support my children in whatever they choose to do. As long as the thing is right and is making them happy. Yes. So, dumping a woman who has dedicated herself and time to a relationship is the right thing, right? It will interest you to know that Monica did it out of her own free will. Nobody forced her into doing it. Nobody promised her anything. I am sure that the prince never promised her anything. So if you promised her marriage to the prince, then you better go and sort that out with her. It has nothing to do with my son. Listen to me, son. There is absolutely no way I will allow you to treat her this way. Mom, it's a shame that things have gone this way. But I'm sure I subtly made you to understand that marriage would never work between I and Monica. You complained about her being lazy when it comes to keeping fit. Is that what you are referring to? Look, Mom, I cannot marry a woman that is reluctant about her personal well-being. Yeah? Okay, Chuku. Are you still normal? Who chooses a wife based on exercises? Can't you look for a better reason? What's this flimsy excuse for? Mom, please, can we talk later? Please. Please. It's already late here. I need to sleep so that I can go to work early tomorrow. No problem. Call me tomorrow. If you fail, I will call you. Bye. Nonsense. How could he think I would ever support him to discard Monica? It's not possible. Mom, do you really think you can stop him? Is it right? It's what he's doing, right? He may have his reasons. What reason? Wait, 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 wait. Who chooses a wife based on her ability to exercise? Is that what you call a reason? That may be one of them. And though it may sound unreasonable to you, but to him, it is a good reason. You know how little things get his attention. Is that what you called a reason? Monica has put in a lot into this relationship. I will not let him dump her like that. No. Well, you and I know nobody influences his decisions easily. <laughs> he, I'm not sure he may want to marry a woman just because you want him to. So, what do you want me to do? Allow him to discard Monica? Mom, I like Monica. But I've watched both of them closely. And to be honest, they cannot have a happy marriage. They are two different people with a totally different composition. Their views and perspectives differ. In fact, they are like two parallel lines that can never meet. And I thought their relationship was working on fire. So it seems to someone who observes from a distance or that deliberately decides to overlook. Monica never complained about any other thing apart from his jogging and exercises, but at some point, he, she got used to it. Mom, 
I suggest you let this one sit out, okay? Just let him do what he wants to do. Because even if you try, you cannot stop him. And you know that. So save yourself the stress. Are you going to starve yourself to death because the prince has refused to pick your call since he got back to Texas? Cheer up, girl. It could be because of the time difference. You know, sometimes I call him and he picks. But when he does, he sounds off. I mean, why should he be sounding off after the time we spent together? Has it ever occurred to you that this man just got back to work? from a one-month holiday. Also, he may be settling into his work. So why don't you give him a little time to pick up? Um, um, I wish I could settle into work myself. You can if you want to. Just give it a try. Vera told me that Andrew made you a gift. She also told me how he uh. made comments that suggested that he was aware you were with the prince. So how did he get to know? Sincerely, Annabelle, I don't want to talk about that, please. Um, he did not exactly ask me to marry him, but I won't deny the fact that I noticed he really likes me. You see? She noticed that he likes her. Well, he mentioned that to his father that he actually likes you. He did? And the king himself invited me for us to discuss it because he thought the woman in question is one of my daughters. <laughs> well, I think we have to keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. Okay? Well, now that we're talking about this, I think it's best I mention the fact that he invited me to come see him. To visit him where? In Texas, Auntie. He even sent me money to start processing my international passport. I intend to go to Asaba next week to do it. That sounds great. It means he is serious. He is indeed serious. <laughs> my dear, this is it. You're already on your way up. Tezak's beckons. Thank you, Auntie. Congratulations. <laughs> now, Amaka, it is my fifth position that you wait for him to pay your bride price at least or make any kind of commitment towards you before you do any of those things you are planning with him so i want you to bear that in mind okay okay uncle i will keep it in mind you, you you can't just plan and travel to go to see anybody in texas who has not paid your bride price it is not in our family okay uncle i'll keep it in mind yeah as i said um, we we'll have to keep our fingers crossed, okay? And uh, from the deepest part of my heart, my dear, I wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I wish you the very best. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Amaka, we, we called you to inform you of what is going on, and uh, I think it's late already. You may have to retire and be with your mother. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, Uncle. See you tomorrow, my dear. Good night. Good night, my dear. So you honestly think I will do that for you? Mom, I am only asking you what to do. I will not. Since you made the decision of dumping her, be the one to tell her. You brought us together. You were like the middleman here. Okay, Chuku, I ceased to be in that position the moment you decided to drop her. Mom, don't, don't make this sound awful. We simply tried to see if we could work and unfortunately... Fine! Okay, Chuku, fine. All I'm saying is that you should be a gentleman and tell the lady that it cannot work between you two. That's it. You don't wait for me to do that for you. Okay, fine, Mom. I have heard you. I'll do that. Good. <laughs> Sincerely, Matilda, I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, you mean you did not notice it? I did not notice anything. Oh, I did the moment she entered here last night. Don't look at me like that. I know what I am talking about. 
but seriously, I, I don't know what you are talking about. Because the Amaka that visited last night looked very okay to me. No, she does not. And I suggest we take it up. Take it up how? By getting her to see a doctor, of course. That is the only thing we owe her. To take care of her. Yes, I agree with you, Matilda, that we owe her that. But sincerely, Amaka looked very okay to me. She should be okay and not look okay. Oh, especially now that the prince has showed interest in her. Who knows? The king might invite her to the palace any moment. We don't want her to go there looking sick. I don't know. Why are you confusing me like this? The Amaka we are talking about is a fully grown woman. If she is sick, I believe that she would have gone to see a doctor on her own. My husband, what if she doesn't know that she is not fine? Then her mother Bridget that we know would have taken it upon herself to take care of her only child. Her only child. Oma. You talk as if you don't know Bridget. You know Bridget does not have the time to look after her own daughter. What does she know anyway? Look, we are like her parents. And she treats us like one. What else do we owe her if not take care of her? I suggest we get her to see a doctor. I don't want anything to get in the way. Now there is a relationship between her and the prince. You just sound as, as if you are so sure of what you are saying. Yes. And I'm not going to prevent you from rendering help to somebody where you have convinced yourself you want to do just that. Well, if you believe that she needs a doctor, whatever thing you believe is right, you have my consent, go ahead and do it. Thank you very much, Omar. I will send her to see a doctor. That is the right thing to do. And it has to be done as soon as possible. I don't have any problem with that. So long as you are sure of what you are saying. Thank you. about this. The question is, what did you do that for? I wanted to. Why? How are you supposed to defend the knowledge that you have? Did she at any point tell you that she was with the prince? I see. You are worried she will find out you stabbed her in the back? I was joking. I, I know you were looking out for me. That was not the plan. That wasn't it. The plan was for you to move on and not confront her. I know, but I was hurt. I was hurt that she not only lied to me, but she made it seem like she cared. So... What do you intend to achieve by making her know that you are aware of her relationship with the prince? I don't know. But somehow, I am relieved. I am relieved that she now knows I am not her fool. Andrew, Andrew, you don't need to be hot because of Monica. She doesn't deserve it. Annabelle, it would have been easier if I did not fall hopelessly in love. Andrew, people fall in and out of love all the time. Forget about her. I am here for you. And I'm sure you know that you have a best friend in me. A friend that will never betray you. Look, why, why don't you seize this opportunity to be happy? Oh, well, 
I will just go to the living room. Uh, what are you saying? Look how confused you have become. You are in the living room. Andrew. of the opinion that I do the lab test. You see? Yes. He thinks there's nothing wrong in doing a normal general routine test. Since someone said that he will pay for it, maybe you should oblige. But Mama, do I look sick? Not to me. But like I said before, you have nothing to lose. Eh? You know the way Matilda behaves. She won't stop until you do what she wants. Eh? Please. Maybe you should just do it once and for all and let this matter die. Oh? I'm going for a meeting. Okay. Bye. 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 Yes. I got back not long ago. Yeah, how did it go? It went well. But uh, I'll be going back to the hospital for my results tomorrow. So how do you feel? I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm, that's good. Well, I, I came to visit my auntie. Do you want me to call you back or when you're done talking now? Yes, if you don't mind. Of course, it's okay. Uh, we'll talk later. Thank you. Later. Auntie, that was the prince I was talking to. I know giving him a feedback of your visit from the hospital. Yes, he's anxious to know how it went. He should be. But you shouldn't have told him anyway. But why? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's not a problem. Okay. Well, Auntie, I will have to go back to the hospital tomorrow for the result. Yes, Dr. Tim told me. Dr. Tim, he's a very nice person, you know. He treated me like a very special woman. Indeed, you are special. Yes, you are. It takes a special woman to get the prince's attention. You're welcome. Thank you, Auntie. I can assure you that it's not the end of the world. The good thing is that you found out. And once treatment is commenced, immediately you'll be fine. Doctor, how do people get this uh, hepatitis B? Well, hepatitis B is caused by the hepatitis B virus. It is mostly spread by exposure to infected bodily fluids such as blood and semen. Yours is at the chronic stage now. What do you mean by that? It has become chronic in the sense that it has stayed more than six months in your body. And even though treated, it may never go away completely. But I assure you, you'll be fine. Doctor, how can I be fine, eh? You just said it yourself that it's already in its chronic stage and that it may never go away. The word there is may. Not to worry. You will be fine. I assure you. Doctor, I don't, I don't understand this thing. No. I don't understand it at all. I am not sick. I am, I am very fine. I don't even have the symptoms to this ailment. It's not about looking sickly or having the symptoms. It's often very tricky. You see, people who have lost their lives as a result of this disease never knew they had it. You've heard of people dying in their sleeps, right? Such people died as a result of this infection. Well, I will personally take care of you. I will place you on a five-day injection, and after that, you will be very okay. Just like that? I mean, is it that simple? We can start today. Start today? No, I have to go home and inform my family members. Well, I know Chief Mrs. Ubu will be very happy if you start the treatment immediately. She told me how close you are to her family and how much she cares for you. Well, 
we can give her a call. Look, I, I know, doctor, but I still insist I go back home and discuss with my family members. Well, that's okay if you insist, but kindly note that delay is dangerous. 15 to 25% of people who have this disease die of liver failure. We must start treatment immediately to avoid damage to your liver. Okay, doctor, thank you. I've had you. Let me be on my way now. Eh, can I have my lab test results? Of course, of course. Oh, well, well, okay. Here. Thank you. Okay, see you. from Enugu. It's a meeting not dressed for the wedding. I'm not going for the wedding. Why? What is it? Your decision not to attend the wedding is worrisome. And the look on your face is terrible. What is it? Talk to me. Vera, please. The last thing I want to talk about now is a wedding. Please. Why, if I may ask? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Spending time with him. Maybe that was my sin. Remember how you told me Remember how you warned me against it? How you told me that he might not place value on me if I spent time with him while he was in the country. But Does this have anything to do with the prince? What did he do? He sees no future with me. This is what he said to me. That's his reason for breaking up with me. Don't cry. Hmm? Don't cry, my friend. Vera, I feel humiliated. Oh. I feel used. He used me and now... And now he thinks we shouldn't be together. He didn't use you. Hmm? He didn't. You gave him your body out of your own free will. Remember, the plan was to get to know each other better. Of course. He succeeded in knowing me so well that now he thinks I am not good enough for him. Don't talk like that. Eh? Don't talk like that. Remember you were never comfortable with everything about him. Hmm? Yes. It's better to break up a relationship than to break up a marriage. After everything I did to make this work. Vera, I lied to a friend that has been there for me for so many years. I rejected him. I hurt him just to be with the prince. And this is 
what I get. How is that? I know. I know, but this is not the end of the world. It's not. See, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. I just feel terrible. I just feel so I know, bad. I know. Oh, I just feel so bad. Sorry, it's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine. Yeah. Just... The prince broke up with her. Why? I don't understand. Why do I have to come be with her? Vera, please. Uh -uh. Is she a baby that I have to come babysit? The prince broke up with her. So what? Is that why she wants to kill herself? I beg, we all have our issues, eh? I have mine too. Moreover, it was really obvious that from day one, the prince never liked her. She was the one who was throwing her chip self on him. I thought you went out. Oh yes, I'm back. Okay. I just got in now. Oh. I overheard you talking on phone. Is everything all right? Oh yes, everything is fine. It was Vera. I see. I thought she went to Enugu. Uh, yes, she visited yesterday. I think she had a wedding in town. Okay. And why did she call? Is everything okay? Oh yes, everything is fine. She just wanted to know if it's going to be possible for us to meet before she leaves for Enugu later today. And you're going? Are you going? I asked a question. It's um... It's pretty obvious you really want me to leave your house. Your attitude says it all. I cannot deny that I want privacy. Especially now that my exam is forthcoming. Really? Oh yes. But... That's nice. Annabelle, Monica is back. The house won't be lonely for you anymore. Andrew, I'm definitely going to leave your house. But I ask that you give me a little more time. And I promise to stay out of your personal space while here. Please. Namaka, you were feeling very okay. And immediately the result came out. You started feeling sick. Is it not funny? I don't know. Maybe it's just my mind that is playing tricks on me. You know the body has a way of picking up signals from the mind. Amaka, this may not be the mind. So you're saying that I truly have hepatitis B? The lab result cannot be faulted. Mm -mm. I, I have gone online and I made some researches about the ailment and I don't seem to have any of its symptoms. Besides, I don't I don't remember I don't remember exposing myself to an to an infection. Amaka, you know the lab says it all. You know. Jessica, do you know what bothers me the most? It's the fact that I have not been able to reach the prince and tell him everything that is going on. It bothers me more than the ailment itself. But why have you not been able to reach him? Maybe it's network issue. Network issue? The same network that we used to talk before I came in here? Jessica, international routes is always different from local routes. Huh? Yeah, really? Anyway, the main thing now is for you to start taking treatment. Stop playing with your life, Amaka. Even Prince Okechuku will not be happy if he hears that you're doing this. Amaka, if I were you, I wouldn't even mention it to him. 
Why would you tell a man that is interested in you that you have an infection? You may have a point. Of course I have a point. See, the main thing now is for you to start taking your treatment. Start taking your drugs. Take care of yourself. Whenever he calls you, don't even mention hepatitis B to him. That may put him off, you know. The bottom line is that you will be treated and you will be free. You are bigger than this. Shake it off. Vera, you don't know how humiliated I feel. I know. I equally know that what you are thinking is not right. He did not use you. Hmm? Hmm. The society makes it look like a woman is only used sexually in a relationship. But that is not how it is. As far as I know, they just use each other. There is neither a winner nor a loser. Darling, it's easy for you to quote your philosophy because you are not in this situation and have never been. I don't have to be in it to know the truth. Hmm? That should be Annabelle. I called her to come be with you. Why? Um, because you need someone to be with you. Hmm? Hi, Andrew. Hi, girl. How are you? Oh, that's not. I'm good. Um, come on in. Hi, Monica. Um, hi, Andrew. What are you doing here? Am I not permitted to visit my friend anymore? Um, no, of, of course not. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, um, considering what happened, I thought you might need a friend. A friend to talk to and possibly spend time with since your friend Vera will be leaving for Enugu. I didn't call him. I'm serious. I didn't call him, I swear. Please, tell her that I did not call you. Just tell her that I did not call you, please. I don't know what you are talking about. And seriously, I don't know what you're doing here. So this is it? Twelve years of friendship flushed down the drain just because I love you. Monica, why? What did I do wrong? Why did you treat me like that? For goodness sake, Andrew, I don't know what you are talking about. I am talking about your relationship with the prince of your land. The prince of Obodetiti. Why did you lie to me? You lied to me, Monica. Why? Andrew. I expected you to be truthful. If not for anything, but for the years of friendship that we shared. I was hurt. I was hurt to hear that you were with him. And even more hurt hearing that from someone else. And other than you. Andrew. Please listen to me. I am sorry. I didn't mean to keep anything away from you. I wanted to tell you honestly. I wanted to. Of course you did. Then what happened? I stopped I... her. It was not her intention to keep it away from you. I stopped her because I felt it would hurt you. And that could mean the end of your relationship with her. Oh, I see. 
You want me to believe that Monica here does not have a mind of her own? You want me to believe that she wanted to tell me and you convinced her not to? That, that is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Well, the Monica here I know is not easy to be convinced. Especially when she knows that what she's about to do is the right thing. It's either she never wanted to tell me and then you supported her, or she never had your support. Well, I'm sorry. I am sorry for raising my voice. I apologize. No, Andrew. You don't have to be sorry. You have every right to be angry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm sorry I hurt you. I wish I could turn back the hands of time and make things right. I'm deeply sorry. Please. It's okay. So tell me, what happened? Why did he break up with you? Andrew, I have told you I know not what you're talking about. Monica. You apologize to me now for telling me lies. And you're still doing the same thing. Or maybe it's not meant to be. Push it behind you and move on. Okay? <laughs> Monica. Maybe it was not meant to be. Just push it behind you and move on. Or what is your plan? Do you want to chase after him? Monica. These shoulders here are still available for you to cry on. I'm still that friend that cares. And I will never stop caring for you. Vera. She is in safe hands. I can see you. So you're free to go back to him if you want to. <sighs> Andrew, you are one of a kind. Thank you. But Andrew, how do you get to know all about this? Starting from Monica's relationship with the prince, her visit to the palace, and the breakup. Well. Let us just say I have a device I planted on her that transmits everything to me. What? I love you. What? So, Doctor, did you say it's okay for me to be feeling this way? Oh, well, uh, the body reacts to treatment differently. And I guess the pain in your leg is a way your body is reacting to treatment. But will the pain go away? Uh, definitely. But you must complete the treatment. The pain of the stomach. Okay. But is there any medication you can give me for the pain? It's too much. Is it that serious? Yes. It was very difficult for me to get out of bed this morning. Now I fear that it may get worse tomorrow. Well, the pain is supposed to subside as treatment progresses and your body gets used to it. So, doctor, you mean you won't give me any pain relievers? Just anything, something to just make the pain reduce small? None at all. Uh, the pain will go on its own, okay? Just relax. It will go. But if you're unable to come to the hospital on your own, just give me a call. I will come to the house. You will come to the house? Sure. 
Your auntie has made provision for every emergency. Thank you. But I'm sure it won't get to that. Like you said, the pain will go away. Surely, it will definitely go away. Okay. You will be fine. Let me be on my way now. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. But give me a call if it doesn't improve and you cannot come. Okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Why are you calling me? Why? So it was you all the while. What? You told Andrew about Monica and the prince. How could you? How did you know it was me? Was it not you? And is that not because you want him? Is that not why you have been living in his house for a while now? Uh. I never would have thought that you would stab anyone in the back, let alone your very close friend. I just thought I should call to let you know that it is all out. So what? Mm-hmm. It's out. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? What? Anna, what is it? Is there any problem? Chief Silas, I know you too well, and I know the way you behave. You don't leave anything until you get to the end of it. But on this one, I'm asking you to back off. <laughs> Doctor, I know you know me too well, and you know what I, I, I am capable of doing. But it is not all about me. It's about you. Chief Mrs. Matilda Ugo is a very dangerous human being. Please, stay away from her. Listen, Chief Silas, this is something that doesn't concern you. And I don't want to discuss it with you. Doctor, I am telling you the truth. I have known this woman for a long time. I know what she's capable of doing. This woman is very dangerous. Chief Silas, can we just put an end to this discussion? Let's stop talking about it, please. Doctor, well, if you insist, I insist. I am all available for you. Anytime you need my help, you can give me a call. Okay. All right. She inquired how I got to know her. And I could not bring myself to lie to her. Of course. You were so righteous that you couldn't cover up someone who meant well for you. I know I shouldn't have told her. Or I don't know how to tell lies. You know I passed through the seminary. Oh, how nice, Andrew. You passed through the seminary. How nice of you. Look, I told you that because, because I care about you. Please don't, don't go on with that. You told me that because of the good you taught it would do to you. Did you just say that to me? Oh, yes. You know, I don't understand you. Why do you hate Monica so much? I keep on wondering what else you would have done against her all these years. Now you're going to sit here and judge me? You're going to judge me because, because I, I, I was watching your back? Like I said, you did all you did in your interest. And what made you think I was interested in knowing if Monica is going out with someone else? Don't you think the information will hurt me? I was only trying to keep you safe. I would have been safer in the dark. Do you know how hurt I was to hear that from you and not from Monica? Uh, she was never going to tell you after all. You would have still found out from someone like me. Andrew. I care about you so much. I'm sorry that you're hurt by my actions. I'm sorry. It's true that I have feelings for you. And I want to be with you. But that was not the only reason I told you. I told you because, because I care about you. 
I stabbed my best friend in the back. Does that not show you that you mean, you mean the world to me? Does that not show you how special you are? Do you know how hurtful it is for me to watch you love Monica instead of me? I love you, Andrew. Don't you think I deserve the tiniest fraction of love and affection from you? I love you so much, Andrew, and I want to be with you. do this right now. Excuse me. You can pretend to be fine, but I know you're not. Why? I am fine, Lolo. Monica, I know how you feel. So there's no point trying to pretend. Yes, I felt heartbroken. But that couldn't have changed anything. I had to move on. So fast? What did you expect me to do, Lolo? Anika, did you ever love my son? I mean, were you just playing along? The regional manager of an insurance company leaves her work for three weeks to be with the man. And you call that playing along? I know. That was a silly question I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry about that. But I didn't expect you not to have done anything like making an effort. The little time I spent with your son made me understand the kind of person he is. He thinks things through thoroughly. And I'm sure that was why he came up with the idea of quitting. See, I'm certain everything will be sorted out. That was why I decided to come and see you face to face. Just to plead with you to hang in there for him, please. I know you love me very much. I know you love me so much to want me to be your daughter-in-law. But it is not your decision to make. But I can influence the decision, right? And when that happens, what happens to the lady your son intends to marry? He told me about her. He told me she means everything to him and that he cannot treat her for anything. And I'm not sure he would want to treat her for what you want. Lolo, I am fine, really. Monica, I feel so bad that there is little or nothing I can do to save this whole situation. Once again, I want to apologize on his behalf. <sighs> Lolo, it's okay. He has the right to make his own choice. We cannot force our choices on people. You will always be my daughter. This relationship will not die whether you're with the prince What do we do now? 
I'm so confused. Eh? Ma, God. Ma, eh? Eh, help me get my food. It's over there. Let okay. me call Dr. Tim. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Is the phone switched on? He's eh? not picking his calls, Mama. He's not picking. This is the most horrible news that I've heard. How did this happen? Princess, How? Princess, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even explain it. It still confuses me. The only thing I know is that. I have lost a leg. <laughs> Don't you think you should tell my brother about this? I I I even tried his number a few minutes ago before you came. I have not been able to reach him on the phone for a very long time now. <gasps> I even tried sending him text messages and it just bounces back. Really? And that's exactly what he said about you. That he's unable to reach you on the phone. Maybe it's a network issue. <laughs> Is our network that bad here? Let me give him a call. How is that even possible? It's ringing. Maybe it's from your phone. Hello. Yes. I mean, Obode Titi. I got back this morning and I've gone to see Amaka. Is she okay? Is she there with you? <sighs> yes, she is. Oh, please let me talk to her, please. Let me talk to her. Amaka. <laughs> Amaka. My prince. <laughs> Something wrong. I have been worried about you. I cannot reach you either through the phone or text message. <laughs> Amaka. Hello. Amaka. Oh, uh, she can't talk right now. Why? What's the problem? Is she okay? I don't know how to start. You do not believe me, Monica. Annabelle lived in my house. But I swear, I did not touch her. I didn't even think about it. Andrew, whether you swear or not, it doesn't matter to me. And you've been acting strangely ever since she told you. Andrew, come on, I have not been acting strangely. I have just been busy with work. And right now you are disrupting me. Do you want me to leave? Listen, we should not be having this kind of conversation in my office. I just hope you understand that. Oh yes, I do. So, should I come after work? I... I'm not sure that's a good idea. You see? Monica, you 
believe Annabelle over me? Have I ever lied to you? No. Has she ever lied to you? Yes, a lot of times. Is she capable of lying against me? Certainly yes. If that will achieve a purpose for her. And that is what is happening now. She does not want us to be together. Reason she came up with that lie. Can't you see that? You will satisfy her if you cut me off. Um, Andrew, please. Stop being dramatic. I am not cutting you off. Um, I'm just trying to refocus my energy. A lot has happened in a short while. I just need time to come to terms with it. Please. Why can't you be specific? Tell me you need time to come in terms with the fact that I slept with Annabelle. Tell me, Monica. Fine. I will give you time. But in all, always know that I still love you. I do. I'll be defending my thesis on the 25th of this month. After that, I will go back to Abuja. I am sorry for all the pains I've caused you in this town. I just hope you will you'll find time and forgive me someday. I love you, Monica. Goodbye. Dad, it was a pitiable sight. Hey, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, what a shame. So this is how her dream and ambition of being my son's wife died. Ah. No, no, don't get me wrong. I'm just making a statement of fact. I, I feel it too. It's all right. Have you informed the prince about this? Yes. I called him while I was there. And he's coming home as soon as possible. Good, good. Coming home to do what? Mom, the woman he wants to marry is in that condition. So? And you're asking what he's coming home for? Yes! Is he coming to give her a new leg? Maybe. That is his field, right? Hello, Chuku. There is no point trying to be sarcastic here. My son left not quite long ago. And now he's going to risk it coming back because of that woman. No. meeting to attend tomorrow. I have an appointment too. Let me go and get ready. Mm -hmm. Everybody is having either a meeting or an appointment. Because you thought I was going to argue. Why am I arguing? Arguing what? The fact still remains that if my son likes, let him come back this night. The fact remains that he will not give her a real leg. That's just it. My prince, so you flew back from Tezas as soon as you heard the news? I had no option. <sighs> Look, you are going to be all right. You'll be fine. Okay. The same thing I've been telling her. No, 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 stay fine. How can I not worry? My whole life has taken a horrible twist and you ask me not to worry. 
It may seem like your life has taken a horrible twist. But I want to assure you that I would not leave your side. I will stay with you. Stand by you. I promise you will be properly taken care of. I promise. Thank you, my prince. Your words alone are enough to heal her broken heart. I meant everything that I said. I will get to the root of this. First, you have to show me the doctor who diagnosed her of hepatitis B, who administered this injection on her. My prince, I think the injections have nothing to do with this. And the pain? The swollen legs? All this started after the injections was administered. And it was equally on the same side of her buttocks that the injection was given. Exactly. The more reason I need to have a chat with this doctor. Something definitely is wrong. I can sense foul play. I am a scientist. Science does not lie. Dr. Tim has been our family doctor for years now. And as far as I know, he is good at what he does. I am not saying that he is not good at what he does. I am a medical practitioner. I need to have a chat with this doctor so as to ascertain the appropriateness of the drugs he administered on her. You are right. Please, can you do me a favor? Can you show me this doctor? I need to have a word with him. Now? Now if possible. He should be at his office, right? Yes, he should be. And of course, I can take you to him. Thank you. Let me get my car keys. Excuse me. Picking your call. No. 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 She's taking too long. Look, maybe she decided to freshen up. That's not what she said. She only said she wanted to go get her car keys. Don't worry, she'll be here soon. Let me go and check on her. My prince, I am very sorry. An emergency came up. Please give me some time to attend to it. Then I'll come and take you to the doctor. It is a matter of life and death. I really need to go now. Please, excuse me. My prince. Do you need to wait for her? I'll be at the hospital if I knew the address. Well, I still have my hospital card and my lab test result. I am sure the address should be on it. The address is on it? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. Perfect. I, I will be needing it for evidence. And then I can use the address to trace it. I'll just find my way there. Okay. okay. Um, Mama, the hospital card is on the table inside the room. Can you help me get it? Okay.
Why did you not take your calls, doctor? I don't take my phone while going for work rounds. You called? More than a million times. Oh. And there is a problem. What is the problem? Prince Okichuku came home. Prince Okichuku, the one interested in my husband's knees. Oh, the medical doctor based in Texas. He did? And he is coming for you. Why? Because he's a medical doctor. And he feels there is something fishy with the process that got Amaka's leg amputated. I am supposed to be here with him now. I have to find my way to come warn you first before bringing him. But you know you can bring him here. Maybe you'll tell me how that will work because I ran out of ideas. Uh, look, madam, can we talk about this later? Come in, please. Hello, Dr. Timothy. Timothy, yeah. How are you and what? Can I do for you? My name is Okechuku. Prince Okechuku of Obodoidity. If you do not mind, I would like to have a word with you. Uh, well, I was on my way out. Can we reschedule? Madam. Madam, I thought you said you had an emergency that you needed to sort out. Emergency, yes. I, I, I will attend to that from here. Yes, I will. Uh, uh, please, doctor, if you don't mind, I need to run along. I have something. You are going nowhere, doctor. Not until we are done discussing about the patient. You diagnosed of chronic hepatitis B. This envelope contains your hospital card. The results of all the tests that you diagnosed. She had this all planned out with a so-called doctor team. Amaka never had any hepatitis B. It was just something they came up with so as to inject her with a particular substance to destroy the sciatic nerves in her leg. The nerve in question is responsible for reflexes and strength. Honestly, I am surprised to hear that all this happened and she never bothered to call you to at least explain things to you. Father, she was up against a very deadly woman. I don't know how the switch engineer she contracted by her lines from international calls and SMS. She, will, she would not be able to reach me because it will keep saying network failure. I, I, I don't understand. You don't mean it. What is this world turning into? Why are the hearts of men this wicked? How much was that doctor paid to destroy the life of this poor girl? I don't care how much he was paid, Father. But I promise him one thing. He would spend every penny of that money when he's out of jail. And I will also see and ensure that his license is revoked. Honestly, I feel like getting involved myself. I want him to pay for every single pain that he has caused this girl. You don't have to worry yourself, Father. I am equal to the task. I would make sure he loses everything he ever worked for. Please, please, please. I, I need to understand something here. What reason did the woman give for her actions? What else if not for the obvious? The prince is interested in Amaka and she would not allow any woman's daughter be married to the royal family. Did she say that? Of course she said that. After the police must have interrogated her with a barrage of questions. This is wickedness at the highest Death. What beats my imagination the most is Amaka respects this woman even more than her own mother. She told me about cases where she disobeyed her mother just to please this particular woman. 
what is going to happen? What point are they now? They are in the police custody, up against the state for criminal connivance. And Amaka, how is she taking this? She is broken. Oh. Who will not? And this is the kind of family you want to get involved with? One that can go to any length out of sheer jealousy? Mother, as educated people, we must not generalize. Amaka and the mother are good people. They're not bad people. <gasps> but they're from the same family as the bad people. What are we talking about here? Mother, if I would not leave Amaka again. If you are suggesting that I leave her, then you should say something else. I would never abandon her again. So what do you intend to do? What are you going to do with a one-legged woman anyway? What I am doing with her is my business and my business alone. I would be my own father. It's okay, son. We'll talk about this later. Alright, father. Your Majesty. Our son will not marry a woman with just one leg. It is not possible. I hope you're with me on this. It's not possible. Right? Hold on. Hi, Monique. Hi. Well, I am sure you did not forget anything here. Hi. Hello, Annabelle. What do you want? At least offer us a seat. No. This route. Okay, okay, please, Tess. This is no business of yours, so please stay out of it. I am not letting Annabelle an inch into this house. Which used to be her house, too. Very well. I'm glad you know it used to be a house. That was then, not now. And for the fact that I came here with her, who we'll make you let us in? Now you listen. State your mission, else I'll throw you out. Quickly. You know what, Annabelle? I don't think I need to be here. I think this is your mess. And you have to clean it up all by yourself. I will be in my car. Look, Monique. I am sorry. I understand how you feel about me right now. And you have every right to feel that way. But forgive me, please. I shouldn't have um, traded our many years of friendship for nothing. Oh, no. No, no. May I remind you, it was not for nothing. You wanted a prize. You wanted Andrew. And the last time I checked, you could still have him. So? Oh. I'm very sorry, Monica. Oh, please. Oh. I met you first before Andrew came into our lives. I should have known better than to let myself fall for a man who had feelings for my friend. I do not have to be your friend again. But please, I want you to forgive me. It's okay. I forgive you. What? You are not coming back to my house if that is the reason you came to apologize. I got a place already, so that's not why I am apologizing. Good. Listen, honestly. Honestly, 
The only problem I had with you was telling Andrew everything I told you in confidence. Whether you slept with him or not did not even matter to me. I didn't sleep with Andrew. What? Yes, I only made that up to scare you from him. Well, true, I tried to seduce him a couple of times, but I guess his heart was fully with you. Monique, Andrew is a good man. He knows what he wants and he doesn't chase shadows. If you feel the same way for him, please don't fight it. So, you mean you... Yes. Yes. I'm truly sorry. Believe me. Andrew is a good man. And I would not like us to lose him to any other woman. I would be very glad if my own friend can have this man. And who is this friend of yours? Let me take a guess. Um, you, of course. So when are you leaving? Well, as soon as I finalize the arrangement with the person that will pick up everything here. Alright. Mm. Okay, so you're selling everything here to him. There is no point going back with them to Abuja. Eh? I will I'll make do with whatever he comes up with. Alright then. That could be the guy. Oh. Uh, please come in. Hi, Andrew. Nika. Can I come in? Yes. Please do. Hi, Pete. Hi, beautiful. It's been a while. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Please, sit down. Um, no, it's, it's okay. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll just make it snappy. Okay. Andrew. You know you've told me a couple of times that you love me. I haven't responded, not because I didn't feel the same way about you, but because I wasn't sure of what I wanted. Andrew, I... I... Come on, guys. Just get a room. Get lost, my friend. We're already in one. Stop disturbing me, please. I love you too. I don't just love you. 
but I want to make you a part of me. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. what I did to my auntie to deserve this. I have always served and treated her like my own mother. And on different occasions I've had to disagree with my mother here just to please her. It's okay. We have gone beyond that stage now. She does not mean well for you. She wanted to frustrate you. She doesn't want any good thing to come to you. Exactly. I never agreed with Matilda. For I had always known she is evil. I'm devastated to finally see the extent she could go to get at me. She's evil. And she has failed. She will spend the rest of her life in jail. I saw her husband with the king earlier today. And this woman kept her husband in the dark of everything that she planned. You don't need to tell me because I already know. You don't need to tell me. I knew. Owen has no hand in this. He called me to apologize. And assured me that Matilda must pay for this. All right. Let's talk about us. Us? Is there still us? <laughs> of course. There was us. There is us. And there will always be us. I don't know what to say. All I know is that I have been rendered useless. Shh. Do not say that again. You are useful. You are stronger now. And I love you for the strength that you have shown. What I see in you, I have never seen in another. Your leg may be amputated. But I still see the same thing in you. Amaka, let us put our enemies to shame. Let us surprise them all. And I ask you this day, Miss. Amaka. Marry me. Marry me, Amaka, and we will have the biggest, the most magnificent wedding ever in Obodoriti land. You still want to marry me like this? Please do not categorize yourself as like this. You are my pride, my love, my happiness. Come with me to Texas. 
and I will reveal to you that science is supreme. You will not only walk again, but you will run again. Hey. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Islam 